All that's left is these doors. All right, get to work. <laughs> So the coolest thing just happened. Someone just tagged me in their Instagram caption uh, for a photo, and this was from Emily. I had a hard time motivating my body this morning. While drinking my coffee, I watched Dave Culligan's The Way I See It video, that's a short film I made, and it hit me hard. So I dug out my bro's old GoPro and tried to document my build run around Dartmouth. The video ended up just a shaky mess with me heavy breathing in the background, but it got me out in the sun and stoked for the day. That is so cool. And I saw from her Instagram profile that Emily is an Ironman athlete. So she's been training her ass off apparently for the past couple of years. And she has inspired me in return. I'm gonna go for a run. But before I run, I need to do two very important things. First, I need to warm up because my hips are so screwed up and I don't wanna get injured. And I also, need to mark some time in my calendar to spend on emails and responding to messages because I've gotten so far behind with all of this painting. And if I don't mark it in, I have no idea what excuse I'll make or what other thing will come up. So it needs to be concrete. 7.30 PM, email and messages. There we go, concrete. This one looks really silly, but it helps so much. Oh. All right, time to run. There's 11 kilometers down. Thanks, Emily. All right, that run felt great, but despite having blocked time in my calendar for email, things came up, things always come up. So now I'm just headed to the grocery store to grab a few more painting supplies to finish up the last few steps of painting, and then I know what I wanna talk about today. So after pointing out that Instagram post earlier where Emily was inspired a little bit by my short film to go for a run and then how I was inspired by her Instagram post to go for a run myself, I decided that today I just want to talk about positivity on the internet and I think we can all agree that it's a little bit more rare and uncommon than it should be and I think that we can definitely all agree that it is super super disheartening all of the negativity that we are exposed to on the internet every single day. And I mean, as far as big media is concerned, nine times out of 10, good news doesn't sell and doesn't do numbers. So that's why we're constantly exposed to the Trump mania. And don't even get me started on internet trolls. Like what could possibly compel someone to spend their precious time and energy spewing hate and negativity on people's artwork or people's videos or people's content, whatever it is, it's just, that is mind boggling to me because their time could be spent better literally doing anything else, but that's a whole other story. For those of you who have followed my work and my narrative a little more closely over the past two years, I may be beginning to sound like a broken record, but I just feel so strongly about the positive potential of the internet and social media if we can just use them right. I posted a video two days ago acknowledging the fact that one of my heroes just launched a company a few months after I did with pretty much the same name as mine. He has no idea my company exists, but uh, it also has kind of the same nature and some of the same goals. And I just wanted to make a video acknowledging this. And that video has since uh, really taken off relative to the sort of view counts that my videos usually get. And that's been really cool, but I started to worry, like, are the internet trolls gonna start to creep in? Like, is this gonna get a negative response? And I was ever so pleasantly surprised that there was only one, amidst all the comments, all the super positive comments, there was only one guy who commented, what's the point of this video? Like, dude, what's the point of that comment? You could have done anything else with that time, but that's besides the point. The response to this video was overwhelmingly positive. And that's why it's midnight again right now and I'm recording this video, but I have the energy to record this because 
I feel so great that people had such great things to say about what I put out there. And that reciprocated positivity just makes me want to pass it on all the more and to just create more content like that. And I'm just realizing that it's a, a really beautiful cycle. Someone works really hard on something, they put it out into the universe, and people say, hey, keep doing that. And then they keep doing it. It's like if we could have more of that, the world would be a much better place. So this is kind of hilarious. I was just recording this video at midnight with all these lights off and only that soft light box on and the battery ran out for that and I was in the pitch black. So I'm going to continue this in a little bit, but you know what, before I do that, I'll give that office update that I promised in my last video, but never gave. It's a total disaster right now. Snacks and beer cans everywhere, but check it out fully painted new office. So we've got this white and then this graphite color on the doors. And then we got this room finished as well. Super, super stoked to finally have all this painting done. Thank you so much to everyone who helped, especially you, Gavin. He carried the heaviest load on all this painting. So shout out to him. We're going to be getting some temporary furniture tomorrow so we can finally get some actual work done in here. Yes. And so anyway, I hope I'm not getting too gushy or repetitive at this point, but the point I'm trying to make is just that I really do feel so grateful to have been on the receiving end of so much positivity via the internet the past few days that, again, I just feel compelled to reciprocate that and put it back into the universe. So if I could ask just one thing of you guys, it would be this. If you get a chance today, if you can find just one minute today to try to put some of that positivity out there, to try to make someone else's day, I say go for it. Because first of all, the world just needs more of that in general. And you really have no idea how it's gonna come back to you, but I guarantee that it will. Good night. <laughs>